prisoner who escaped from Alcatraz sends letter to the FBI. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will be sharing the story of prisoner who made the big escape from Alcatraz. Before jumping into the video, don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing and exciting videos. Alcatraz has given rise to many legends. It was the inescapable prison, which housed some of the most dangerous criminals in America. For many years, people believed that no one ever succeeded in escaping Alcatraz, although several prisoners tried. But there is new evidence which suggests that not only three prisoners actually broke out of the prison, but survived for years afterwards. The wildest part about this is one of the escapees sent a letter to the FBI. Stick with us till the end of the video and find out the rest of the story. Alcatraz is actually known as Island of Gannets due to the reference to birds that flock the place. The place was changed into a prison in 1934. It was infamous for holding some of the dangerous prisoners, and it was definitely not a nice place. According to many reports, it was a vicious place to live. The staff was brutal, the cells were bare, and most of the inmates were dangerous. Given the fact that the prison sits on the Alcatraz Island in San Francisco Bay, it was nearly impossible to escape it. The surrounding water is not only freezing cold, but the strong currents make it difficult for anyone to reach the shoreline. Despite the challenges, over 30 people tried to escape the place. Out of the people who tried to escape, 23 were caught, and the rest died in the deadly waters. Until now, everyone thought that no one succeeded. According to the new evidence, the attempt made by three men in 1962 was completely different and intricate. Named Frank Morris, John Anglin, and Clarence Anglin, they made an intricate plan a year before their big escape. The plan was so ridiculous that it required the use of saw blades, stolen spoon, accordions, and a raft made out of 50 raincoats, dummy head, and the escape from the vents. Before we tell you about the plan, let's meet the criminals. Frank Morris had been a wanted criminal from the age of 13. He was arrested for everything, from the possession of narcotics to armed robbery. He tried to escape prison in Louisiana. Due to this, he was moved to Alcatraz. Together with Frank Morris were the Anglin brothers. John and Clarence Anglin had been involved in crimes since the age of 14. They went on to rob several banks. Let's talk about the plan. They had a ridiculous plan. It was that they would widen the ventilation ducts in the walls with a variety of weird implements. But how did they cover the noise? They did so with Morris accordion music. From the vents, they made it to the roof and created a raft there by stitching 50 raincoats together. They inflated it with another accordion. The most important part of their plan was the creation of paper mache heads to place in the beds and fool the guards. After escaping the cells, they passed through the vent pipe and climbed the wire fences. They slipped past the gun tower and searchlights and took off on the raft. But how they escaped after this is still a mystery, as the FBI said that there was no such raft ever found, and the case was closed in 1979. But things got weird when the case was reopened in 2018. The FBI received a letter from one of the escapees after 50 years. It was the one and only John Anglin. Although law enforcement is suspicious to this day that any of them are still alive, but the person who wrote the letter claimed to be John Anglin. The interesting thing to note here is that he was offering himself in exchange for one thing. This letter isn't the only source that claimed that the criminals made it that night. Their relatives claimed for years that the Anglin brothers were alive, and even a photo surfaced in 2015, which showed the brothers in Brazil in 1975. But on the other hand, the FBI did check the fingerprint on the letter, and no evidence was found that it was from Anglin. But the person who claims to be John Anglin said in the letter that he was ready to serve one more year in jail in exchange for his cancer treatment. Let's be honest, anyone would do that instead of paying all the hefty medical expenses. Although the case has been closed, as there was no solid evidence, it did fuel some conspiracy theories, which can be found on the internet. We hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.